uh, this lack of reporting also um, conforms to these uh, polling numbers I want to share with you. Uh, and this comes uh, on the issue of, of, of Asian American hate. 10% um, over the last year have experienced hate crimes or incidents so far. 31% of Asian Americans worry about being hate crime victims. 30% um, would be very comfortable reporting the hate crime. And it's that last one I want to talk to you about. Because of that, of the other groups measured, Asian Americans were the least comfortable reporting hate crime. That, 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 is, that was the biggest takeaway, that there was a lot of, of, of nervousness in the community from reporting a hate crime. How do you change that? We need to send the message out to all our Asian American community that it's important for them to report these hate crimes, that it is safe, that it is confidential, and that, in fact, they can get resources from the entities like the Stop AAPI Hate website, uh, which has taken it under his, its wing. And, in fact, there are 3,800 hate crimes and incidents that have been reported since the coronavirus first started. So that is just the tip of the iceberg. But we know that there is underreporting going on because of the fear that our Asian American community has. Yeah. Nonetheless, I want to send the message out there to everybody that they need to report it, and they will feel certainly less isolated if they do so. A little advice for when you're dealing with prophecy, <clears throat> how can you stop it? You can't. It's prophecy. It's supposed to happen. Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and please and blessings to the hopeful elect. Yeah, I just want to go into this because recently this has been a thing now that Asians are going through. Um, you know, there's a, uh, there's been a lot of hate crimes against Asians, and this is all part of prophecy. Because here in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7, and it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, and, and for you to know who your enemies are, uh, you have to know. Uh, you have to go to Psalms the eighty third chapter. We're gonna go into after. But how can you, st if uh, for those who are not, uh, for those who are unlearned and people in the world, you can't stop prophecy. There's no stopping this, this so-called hate, cr uh, hate crimes against Asian Americans because this is a part of prophecy, like I just read. And how would thy power put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them which hate thee, which persecute thee? Because when we, uh, you know, in the beginning of our slavery, when we, when we came here, so-called African-Americans, that's what they call us, but we go back to children, we are the children of Israel. We got persecuted. Everybody hated us. Nobody wanted to help us. Nobody looked down and said, hey, chill out, stop hurting these people, stop killing these people. When, when we were getting kicked in the street, when we were getting killed, you know, there's a there's a bunch of names you could mention. Uh, just one that comes to mind, Emmett Till. When our people were getting messed up, uh, were getting messed up, nobody came to uh, to help us. But now we have to come and help you Asians out. No, you Asians also are our enemy. And the thing about it is that yes, we do focus on Esau Edom <coughs> because he is the top dog. But you other so-called nations, so-called Africans, so-called Chinese, and so-called Japanese, you also are our enemies. And let's let's go into um, Psalms 83rd chapter. I'm gonna start from the top. This is Psalms 8, 3, and 1. Uh, keep not keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Most High. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have sent, they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. So that's why today you don't have <clears throat> so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans don't know that they're, they, they're actually the children of Israel because these other nations, like it says, have made crafty counsel to come against us and taken away the name of Israel. That's why you have those so-called Jews living in our land right now that are saying that they're the real Jews, but they're not. And they don't even call themselves Israelites. They call themselves Israelis, <laughs> which when you read the scriptures, there's no such thing as an Israeli. It's called Israelite. <laughs> Uh, verse 5, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. So all these nations, even if they smile on your face, it doesn't matter. These All these nations are enemies. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, that's his biblical name. The so-called Africans, they, uh, they're they Hamites, that's their biblical name. Moab, um, which are the Chinese. 
Ammon, which are the Japanese, all these nations are, 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 are our enemies. <clears throat> Verse 6, the tabernacles of Edom. And it starts with Edom first. That's the main enemy out of everybody. The tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites of Moab, so called Moab, the Moabites of the so called Chinese today, that's what they're called today. The Hagarenes, which are a uh, Hamitic tribe, Jerbal and Ammon. Ammon is, uh, is so called Japanese. And Amalek, can't forget about Amalek neither. Amalek would be the people who call themselves Jews today, but they really come from Amalek, which is one of the sons of Esau. The, uh, the Philistine with the inhabitants of Tyre. So, uh, the point of this video is to show that the prophecy is still going out that, look, the Lord is working. He's bringing all these uh, curses upon our enemies like he said he would, you know. And this is also and this could also lead into uh, race wars, because if Asians are getting attacked by every other nation, don't you think that, look, I don't feel safe being around white people. I don't feel feel safe being around black people or, or, or these other nations. So I'm going to go to my own people and be safe to them and be safe around them. And that could bring about the race war. So this is Isaiah, the 13th chapter. <clears throat> and uh, the 14th verse, and it says, And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Uh, they, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own uh, land. Right, so everybody, this is a prophecy for the... Uh, the, uh, the um, the, come, uh, the hell that's coming upon the earth that the Most High Yahweh Hashem is going to bring upon the earth, <laughs> and it says everyone will turn to his own people. So if you're going to turn and be around your own people, and if everybody else is hating you, these people are going to stay to themselves, and they're going to look at everybody else as an enemy. <laughs> so that's going to that could probably I'm just saying probably bring about the race war because right now the the world is in this like kind of peace and safety thing because things are kind of open back up. You hear movie theaters are opening up. Things are seeming fine, you know, summertime's coming up. So, you know, people want to go out, you know, for women, hot girl summer and all that BS. So, you know, things is looking peace and safety right now, but prophecy is still going on. Excuse me, suck it. And right now, Asians are getting hate because they're feeling, they're feeling what it's like to be a so-called black man because we always have to deal with that. We always have to deal with persecution. Our necks literally being stepped on. Uh, case in point what's his name uh george floyd so now you're gonna feel what we feel because these curses are coming upon you now not just esau edom but ammon moab ham all you other nations you're also gonna feel the heat since you persecute us it's only right that you, you get persecuted as well and uh what precept is that now that i mentioned that uh salakia is it first or is it second thessalonians Hold on, Salaki, give me one second. Hmm. I know, but I remember the scriptures say, uh, seeing is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense trouble to them that trouble you. I know it's Thessalonians. I, I just can't remember why I can't bring it up. I can't remember. But you nations throughout our life have always messed with us. You've always put us in slavery. You've always uh, brought us down. Ammon, Moab, you've been feeding us rat, cat, and bat. So now it's time to pay for all that, for all the evils that you've done to the children of Israel. And this is something, like I said earlier, they're trying to figure out how can we stop Asian hate. You can't stop it. This is a part of prophecy. You won't stop prophecy. There's nothing you can do. You just got to deal with it now. You got you to gotta drink of that cup. We have to drink of our cup. Now it's time for you to drink of yours. And this Asian hate could probably lead to race wars or at least, you know, lead up to what I believe. I don't know. We'll see. But, um could definitely lead up to, you know, Asians secluding themselves and staying amongst their own people and not wanting to, you know, be around other uh, other nations. And like I was saying earlier, you know, with everything, uh, prophecy is still going on, even though things seem to people who don't know, um, things seem all quiet and things going, things seem to be opening up and things seem to go back to being good. Thing prophecy is still moving. And like the scriptures say, that sudden destruction is going to hit, and Lord's willing, something happens. You know, you have stuff going on in the, uh, in the Gulf of Suez and numerous other things, you know, the earthquakes all around the earth, and now Asians are getting hate, which they've always been getting hate. And and you so-called Asians, you can thank the so-called white man because Donald Trump was saying how 
the C-19 came from y'all. So you can thank the so-called white man for all the hate that you got now. But really, that's the most high working up with the uh, with the, with the uh, with his council of angels in the heavens about how prophecy is going to get fulfilled. Because uh, certain examples of that with uh, <clears throat> with um, first kings, I think it is. If it's not first kings, it might be second kings. Where, uh, when the heavenly father had the council of angels on the left hand side, the demons, and he was like, who is going to uh, persuade uh, Ahab to go up to Ramoth Gilead so he can die? <laughs> And one said on this man, the other said on th that manner. And then one uh, spirit, which is a demon, came and said, I will persuade him and I will be a lying mouth in all his prophets. So the council of how prophecy goes down, it starts up in the heavens. The council is in the heavens and then it manifests here on the earth. So right now, really, the Heavenly Father is the really one, the one that's jacking you uh, so-called Chinese and uh, Japanese people up. <laughs> but. Pray that this video is edifying just to let you know that prophecy is still going. The Lord is still working. Like it says in uh, Psalms twenty, uh, uh, Psalms 121, the Lord doesn't sleep. He that keepeth Israel will neither sleep nor slumber. Heavenly Father don't sleep. He's not like man. He's always up. He's always working. And he's working on the behalf of the elect. And Lord's willing to be a part of that number. And his son, Yahweh is very soon to come. And Lord's willing to be a part of that number. And we could, uh, you know, be on those chariots and escape this coming destruction. But I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, the great millstone, whom I learned this truth from, and the elders, Shalom.